Good evening everyone, thank you for joining me for today's video which is going to be a bit of a declutter for spring which I'm very very excited about, I think we're all really excited to be coming out of winter, I normally really really like winter and autumn fashion but I just feel like I think with lockdown and everything it's just gone on so long and I think online shopping has been quite uninspiring as well all throughout, well basically since all of this started and now that the spring stuff is coming in I'm a lot more excited about what's in the shots and I'm getting more excited for fashion again so I thought it was the perfect time to have a declutter I did start decluttering without really thinking so I have already got rid of a few bits so I hope you enjoy it, I'm just going to do not a complete Marie Kondo because I'm not going to pull everything out and put it all in a pile but I'm just going to hold each piece, see if it still brings me joy and if it doesn't gone. Before I start, if you're new here, please have a check out of my other videos, subscribe if you enjoy them. My name is Emma and I make fashion content here on YouTube. I'm going to start with the coat section. I feel like that's the right point to start because we're coming into spring so let's look at our really wintry stuff first. So firstly I have my black puffer jacket, this is from QED London. I think I got it in my first ASOS haul that I filmed. I do like it, it's very very warm, it's fleece lined. I think it does bring me joy in the way that it's very warm, it's very practical. So it's not one of those where I look at it and immediately like yes it sparks joy, but it sparks joy for practical, comfortable reasons and for that reason I'm not going to get rid of it. This next piece absolutely sparks joy and I think it sparks joy for a few of my Instagram followers as well. This is a cape again from ASOS. I absolutely love capes. Talks about my love for capes many many times on this channel and this one in particular I just think it's so glam, like so diva. I really really love it so that is staying. Need I say more? That last coat was a Ted Baker coat. This one is as well and this is my trench coat that I got to replace a Tommy, H Tommy Hilfiger trench coat which absolutely brought me joy but I just wore it to death and I absolutely had to get rid of it because it just looked ridiculous and the holes in it and everything. So this is what I replaced that with. I don't love it as much as I did that but I still think it's a really gorgeous trench, really glam and it's really handy as well for transitional periods because there's no lining so it's a really really good layering piece and just really handy for those days when you just don't really know what the weather's going to do. This next piece is a faux leather jacket from French Connection. This absolutely brings me joy. I think it's so so nice. I bought it back when I first started my Instagram account and I think it was the first time that I spoke on my Instagram story so I remember being really really nervous and the camera was shaking so I mean as you can see my hands shake a lot anyway but I was like this with my phone because I was really nervous about talking in my stories but this I really really love this is a very good transitional piece I haven't been able to wear it very much because it's not really warm enough at the moment so I'm really looking forward to wearing this in spring I suppose this is a bit of an updated wardrobe tour as well I've got most of my stuff here I've done a lot of washing and ironing lately so I don't think there's too many pieces missing apart from summer stuff which is in my suitcase and I guess I will have to get that out otherwise this declutter would be a bit pointless <sighs> So I am obviously not going to get rid of this dress because I only just got it. This is from Opoly and it's absolutely stunning on, really, really flattering and really love the colour. And then there's this Topshop dress, which again, really, really like here. I think it's going to be a really nice spring piece. I haven't got very many short dresses either, so um, this will be really handy for when the weather gets a little bit warmer. I've then got a pair of leather look jeans from Morrison's, which was actually a really, really good find. And they are also in short length as well which not many places do short jeans which is great it's not great that many places do it it's great that Morrisons do it is what I'm saying and they're also super shaped jeans so I do feel like they sculpt me a little bit which is fab I've also got these trousers from Reese as well they're a pair of burgundy trousers and they have the look of a trouser but the feel of a legging which I absolutely love obviously very very comfortable but still looking smart which is great and one of the only reasons that I have any excitement not excitement, that I have any reason to want to go back into the office. <laughs> Next I've got a few skirts to show you. So first is my H&M mini skirt which really really love so keeping that. Then I've got another skirt from H&M and this is something that I've styled up many many times. However I just don't think, if we're going by the does it spark joy method, I think maybe it's time to say goodbye. I've been saying for a long time that I need to replace it because it's just looking a bit worn. I mean, it's monochrome and I feel like the white bits look a bit gray now. It's gone just really around the elastic -y bit on the belt. It's gone just very worn looking and I just don't have as much fun styling it up anymore. I don't know. What, why did I do that? Now my hair's gonna be really 
I don't know what to do with this one. I think I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. I never have a maybe pile when I'm doing this, but I'm gonna start one today. This is another skirt that I've been thinking about getting rid of. So it's a faux leather skirt, faux leather pencil skirt from Warehouse. I do really like it, but I've not had much wear out of it since I've been working from home. It was a very good office piece on days where we had maybe a meeting or an event, something that I felt like I needed to look really professional for then I would wear this, but to be honest, I don't know. I think I'll put it in the maybe pile. I'm leaning towards keeping it just because I feel like when I'm back in the office, then it will have its time again, but at the minute it's just taking up space. Next, we have this Ted Baker skirt, which is quite new to my collection. Um, I think I showed it to you in my last video, which was a haul. So I will be keeping that. It doesn't need to be tailored because it is too big at the waist um, and <laughs> too small <laughs> on the hips, um, as is usually my problem, but Really, really like this, so it's not going anywhere. And the last skirt to show you is this beautiful one from Gracefully Her. Obviously, I'm not getting rid of this. I haven't even had a chance to wear it yet, but I just thought I would show you since this has turned into a little bit of a wardrobe tour. Moving on to knitwear, I've got this jumper from Dorothy Perkins, which I really, really love. It still brings me so much joy. It does have a little hole in it that needs fixing. That aside, absolutely love this. Completely sparks joy, so definitely keeping it. This is something that I got shortly before Christmas. It's a lovely burgundy roll neck from, no, not roll neck, because it's got this, you know what I mean, like it's got the roll neck effect. From Matalan, of all places. I never buy anything from Matalan. I very rarely even think to look in there, but I'm just really impressed with this. I feel like it's got a bit of a Ted Baker feel to it and it was very affordable. So love that. And of course my cream cashmere roll neck is definitely staying. I absolutely love this. It's one of my favorite pieces in my whole wardrobe and it's very, very easy to style up. I'm sorry if you can hear people driving around very loudly outside. They love to rev their engines. And um, this next set, I'm just gonna show you the top because the skirt is on a little hanger underneath. I can't be bothered to, uh, <laughs> to take it out and show you, but it's basically this, but in a pencil skirt. So this is from Shein, very, very affordable. It was a bit of a wild card when I made my Shein order. It's not really the sort of thing that I would normally buy for myself. It's very, very casual. My style is quite overdressed <laughs> and I'm not very good at styling casual clothes. So this is the sort of thing that I normally would stay clear of, but I was just very drawn to it. And I'm really glad that I did because it's just so, so comfortable. It's been great for working from home and being comfortable, but still feeling really stylish and glam. So definitely keeping that. Then I have a few tops to show you. So I have this white cami from River Island, which I did absolutely love, but I just think it's had its time now. It's so, it's gone a little bit discolored. Maybe something's run in the wash. It's just gone quite bobbly and old looking. Unfortunately, I think I am gonna have to get rid of that. It's a shame because it's a really good, useful piece when the weather gets warmer. But to be honest, this style of um, cami, I can quite easily pick up a replacement for. So if I get rid of it, <laughs> it will hopefully inspire me to replace it with something that does spark joy. Then I have this cami from Reese, which there's such a good story behind this. I think I have spoken about this before on my channel, but I remember seeing it on a YouTube channel and really, really wanting it, but it had gone out of stock. And I think places like eBay and Depop selling it, but they were asking just more than I wanted to pay for a cami. And then I went into Reese one day to return a coat that I bought and I saw a rail of like faulty items and they were all around the 20 pound mark. And then I saw this and grabbed it and I could not find, I looked at it for ages, I could not find what the fault was. And then eventually, I think when I went into the changing room, I saw it and it was like on the back here, a little stain, which was very easily covered up. And there's also um, some like little pools on this um, ribbony bit, but it's underneath, so you can't really see it anyway. So I went and tried it on, fell in love with it, but there was no price on it. So I just kept looking at it thinking, really, really want it. I've been thinking about it for ages. It's been so hard to get a hold of, but I thought, what if it's really expensive? <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to the till to ask. And you know, once you're at the till asking what the price is. I went up to the till with it and I thought 20 pounds, it would be 20 pounds because lots of other things on that rail were. And I got there and she couldn't find any information on it. So she just went 20 quid and I was like, yeah, yes, please. I made a little bit of a squeaky noise and she looked at me a bit funny, but I was so, so pleased with that. I don't actually wear it that much, to be honest. It's not the most flattering top, but I just love it. And I think sometimes, sometimes just keep things because you love them. And another piece 
another piece from Reese. This is a vest top that I bought right at the beginning of lock the first lockdown, I think. And to be honest, it has started to look a bit tatty, but I'm not too worried about that. There's a few threads kind of coming loose, which to be honest, isn't great because it's, I mean, I got it in the sale, but it is quite an expensive vest ordinarily, but I can just trim those. But I still really like it. I think it's such a gorgeous color and, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it because it's handy. <laughs> and uh, even if it does look a little bit tatty, I think it does still spark joy. So we're nearly done with the rail and then we're going to go into the suitcase and look at the warmer weather clothes and see what we want to keep from that which I can't really be bothered to do but we're going to do it. <laughs> so I've just got a few accessories to show you from the winter section. So this is very very new and yes I'm keeping it, absolutely love it, no question about that. This is from Reese and was a really good buy. It's £20 from Reese and it's cashmere, I think it's 100% cashmere as well. It's like an oaty colour more than camel and to be honest I just bought it because I needed a scarf and now that I've got this one I feel like I would usually reach for that rather than this so I might put this in the maybe pile to perhaps give it to my mum. I don't know. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. Then I've got two belts. So the first is just this black and gold one from Jean, like a snaky effect. So I'm keeping that because it's just handy. And then I've got this one from DKNY, which actually has a little um, bag to go on it, like a little bum bag, which I bought because I thought it would be quite useful for dog walks. But to be honest, I haven't really used it. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm going to put it in the maybe pile, I think. I never normally have a maybe pile, but today, <laughs> today everything's going in the maybe pile. I'd quite like to get rid of one of them, so I've only got one black belt, but I don't think the bag will go on this belt. I'll try that bag with this belt and see if that works. Right, I have now brought my suitcase, which does not look like it will be going anywhere <laughs> for a few months more. We were meant to be going away in May, first week of May, and it looks like travel, international travel is starting again from the 17th of May. So that's great news, but I kind of wish it was a few weeks before so that we could go on a holiday. But <laughs> there are worse things happening in the world right now than me getting my holiday cancelled. So anyway, this is where I store all of my kind of out of season clothes. So I'm going to get them out now and we're going to work out what we're going to keep and what we're going to declutter. Right, hat. Don't want to get rid of it. Love it. But it's had its time. It's just, it's got all marks on it. I don't even know what they are. It just looks a bit sad. I really love it. I love the do not disturb on it. And I got a lot of compliments on it when I wore it on holiday. And it's nice and floppy. I love a really floppy hat. I don't know why I'm doing this because it's going to mess up my hair. But oh, look at it. You can be like Samantha in the first Sex in the City movie. I will see if I can get the marks off it. If I can, then I think I can probably keep it because that's all really that's making it look a bit sad. This dress, I absolutely love. I'm definitely not getting rid of it. I'm going to be wearing it so, so much when we come into spring and summer. It is so flattering. It's the perfect length for me as well, as long as I remember to put my shoulders back. <laughs> I thought it was too long for ages because I kept looking down like this, like looking to see where the hem was and then I realised it was because I was moving forward. I was thinking the other day, I could not think where this had gone. It's the little H&M crop top that I bought in my haul the other day. And I was like, where has that gone? Have I like, accidentally returned it? It was in my suitcase, so we're all good. Um, so obviously keeping this because it's brand new. And another brand new piece that I've not had a chance to wear yet. This is my little Holterneck white short dress from Ted Baker. Again, I don't actually own that many short dresses and I just feel like this will be so, so useful in those much warmer days. And it has pockets, which is fab. Definitely keeping that. This next dress is one that I have actually thought about getting rid of a few times just because it hangs in a slightly odd way on me. But to be honest, I really, really like it. Now that I've got it out, I think I got it out. Oh, it's my outfit challenge video. I got it out. And I was like, actually, I really, really like it. I really want to keep it. I'm looking forward to wearing it again. This is a really pretty dress as well. This is from ASOS. The brand is called Sisters of the Tribe. And it's really lo 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 lovely. It's a little bit tatty in places. Again, just some threads coming away, which I think will be fine. We can just um, snip those. I think it has been fixed once already. Yeah, definitely going to keep that. Really like that one. This is a lovely comfy jumpsuit, but to be honest, I just don't know that it really works with the rest of my spring summer wardrobe. It's very bright. I don't feel quite right in such bright colour. Although to be honest, they do suit me better than the kind of more paler girly colours that I go for in like, you know, these blush pinks and whites and things. They don't really suit me and this probably does suit me a little bit better, but 
just don't think it's sparking as much joy anymore. Then I have another white mini dress, this time from H&M, and this, I remember actually buying this and thinking it really reminded me of a Ted Baker dress, because it has this like scallop detail, and it's really nice quality as well for what I paid. But I just never felt that confident in it, I think because of the neckline and the short sleeves, which is obviously very similar to the Ted Baker one, but a holds neck I feel is just a little bit more flattering on me. But it is a really beautiful dress. It's not been worn that often, so definitely one for the charity shop or maybe one that I might try and sell. I hate trying to sell stuff. We'll see. I'm very lazy on my end. I've just taken it to the charity shop. These culottes are from New Look. I absolutely love them. Just feel like maybe they look a little bit worn now and I don't know. I do, I do really like they do still spark joy, I think. And you know, I've had these for such a long time now. These were, I think, the first item, one of the first items that I bought after I decided, sorry about the wind, after I decided to start only buying pieces that I really, really loved. I always think they look worn, but I think maybe that's just because I know how old they are. They're a bit bobbly, but to be honest, they're not that bad. Like, oh, there's not that many loose, there's a couple of loose threads, but not like anything bad. Not like there was on the dresses that I showed you. I think I'm gonna keep them for one more spring. And now we come to the last piece in my collection. I do have a couple of bags and shoes and like other accessories that are in my wardrobe, but I just don't really wanna go through them. Like I don't think there's anything that I wanna get rid of there. And um, so the last thing is not a summary piece. This is my sequin skirt from H&M, which I really, really love, but I've just put it in my suitcase because like, I'm not gonna wear it again now until Christmas. So I thought there was no point in taking up room on my rail. But I love it, I'm definitely gonna keep it. I think, I don't see any reason why I would wanna get rid of it. It is a statement piece, but it can be styled in lots of different ways. So I do, I do get my wear out of it over the festive period. Really love this, slightly uncomfortable. It's a little bit tight for me, <laughs> so maybe if I I saw something very similar in a slightly bigger size then I would replace it but for now I'm definitely going to be keeping this until next year. Okay so that is it for my little wardrobe declutter which also was kind of an updated wardrobe tour as well so I hope you enjoyed this. I am thinking about maybe going down to back down to just one video a week on a Sunday. I'm just finding it quite hard at the moment to get videos ready in time and I'm not feeling very creative with it. Like it's hard to think of ideas for things to film so let me know what you think Think. I'm sure you don't care, but I <laughs> just thought I'd mention it rather than just doing it. Yeah, I'll see how I get on, but I might be going down to just one video on a Sunday. So thank you very, very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time on Sunday.